Hello lady shredders and guy shredders. I just got my DT wheel back uh, and I had a few people uh, ask me about my experience with the orange seal sealant. So I figured I'd do a little video on how well this stuff seals. Uh, I actually am using their orange seal Versa valve uh, in this wheel set. They work really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it all back together and show you what's up. I'm trying to hold my phone with my truing stand. <laughs> so we'll see how well that works. It seems like it's working at the moment. We'll see if it continues that way. All right, so we've got the stem in there. Just fits in like what you would be used to normal. Let's see if we can get a picture of that. Stands kind of interface, you know, rubber grommet with an O-ring. Uh, now this tire, was the tire that I took the skin out of uh, in the video. This is all real time. I just I just pulled this off the floor from where I cleaned it out two weeks ago. So this is all this is all fresh. This has not had a test run. You can see this is dry. There's absolutely nothing in this tire. So this will be. I mean, it has been sealed before. You might could make the argument maybe it's had some sealant put in it at some time it was sealed once it has been seated there is some truth to that but this will be a brand new installation of orange seal and all that I'm trying to find a direction on this bond trigger xr2 i don't know yep about time i was getting ready to say there's no direction there it is direction rotary is on the left And one thing that helps on these sometimes is starting and ending at the valve stem on a tubeless setup. I guess because of the height of the valve stem sticking out into the rim, I guess is what the problem is. Uh, you know, on a tube, you go the other way, you know. You want to start at the valve stem and end across from the valve stem, but on tubeless it actually seems like it's the other way. I guess that's because the this valve stem sticking into the rim cavity, taking away uh, precious, you know, millimeters of getting the tires in there. So, of course, I'm always very reticent to use a tire lever unless I absolutely have to, especially on a carbon rim. I really don't want to do it. Of course, not working at a shop full time anymore doesn't help your finger strength. <laughs> When you work at a shop constantly, you snatch these things off, you know, 15 times in a day. You never have a problem. So, might not have the tire down in the channel good on the other side. I'm just kind of retest that fit. Sometimes they get up on the sidewall or on the rounded edge and they're not in the trough. Really end up being a bear. This one's really being a pain in the neck. There we go. I'm getting it now. There we go. All right. So I finally got that on there. <laughs> so I don't like, I mean, I j will put sealant in through the stem, but I think that tends to clog them. I like to put it in the tire if I can. Um, certainly that can be messier. So we'll put our valve stem up at our high point. Turn the camera. All right. The orange seal has a little graduations on here. So you don't, I don't, I'm gonna try this without the cup. Usually I just eyeball this. So we'll try it this time using the graduations on the bottle. Just trying to, you know, just like any sealant, you know, you need to mix it up a little bit. Uh, so let's see. It says four ounces for a 29er. So. and right off you can't really see the graduations real well on the side of the bottle I guess because of the foam I guess 
Now, I'm a bad person to ask about grease or sealant because I'm usually a, if a little's good, a lot's better kind of guy. But I think that's about four ounces. Let's give that a shot. We'll see. So you can see what, you can't really see, but it's hard to, you can't see from the picture, of course, but there you go. You can kind of see there where it's opaque. It's kind of hard to see where it's at. That actually, that's about four ounces. It might be three or so. We'll start, we'll try that though. We'll go from there. So try to seal at the bottom and then kind of work your way around. Get it in the channel. Oops, my label's crooked. Daggum it. After all that effort. Just got finished talking all that smack about labels being straight. <clears throat> I had this problem before where I didn't have a label. Label's just gonna be crooked this time. This will loosen up after I get it on here and aired up a couple days. It will, the bead will kind of stretch out a little bit. I need to slide it around at that point, I'm sure. You know, once again, trying to start and end, or excuse me, end at the valve stem on this tire. I've already got the air compressor pressurized. It's ready to rock. So I'm gonna do this with a regular Porter cable. Um, Porter cable air compressor. Um, but I'm going to leave the valve core in, which is generally, well, not generally, but a lot of times it's a no-no. It won't inflate that way. Not on the first inflate. So let's just see. All right. go one fully seated tire and you can you could tell the air compressor wasn't even pumped up that high so these rims these uh, DT Swiss rims uh, this is my first uh, time having these rims uh, they seal really good this is just the stock DT tape but that's it sealed right up no problems so that orange seal now you can even see i'm not even getting the leakage talking about the seal on these these are a beadless hookless design uh and i'm not even getting any sealant out around the bead you know a lot of times with the stands you'll get sealant out you know they'll kind of leak you'll have some problems with that i'm not having that problem with this no issues at all so well cool i'm gonna torque this um center center lock disc brake ring 40 newton meters and then put it on the bike uh i may add an, and post another video with this either later tonight or tomorrow morning um and just kind of give you a heads up on what the pressure drop is actually let me just i got a pump over here just for giggles let's just go ahead and test it and then I can tell you, I can give you a real world. Yeah, that's not the real pressure. I can tell you that's not it. Okay, so the pressure right now is on flat 40. Almost exactly 40. Maybe 41, maybe. But 40 for all intents and purposes. I'll test it again. And uh, a little bit later, I'll give it 
you know, at least a few hours, and then I'll test it again, and uh, I'll let you know how much it drops, because on a stand, you can rest assured, it's going to drop half the pressure just sealing. You can, you know, you can, you know, don't think you're gonna pump up a stands and come back to it and ride it the next day and your pressure's still gonna be at, you know, 22 and a half or 23, ain't happening. I'll check it out, I'll test and measure, and I'll let you know what those pressures are. All right, friends, so it's the next morning. Uh, it's about 14 hours, probably, 12 or 14 hours since I set this tire up with orange seal. Uh, so we're gonna check the pressures and see what we ended up with. So, there is the bike. Let me check it out. Oh, dude, you can't make this story up. just popped off the off the 15 year old floor pump and I got about 28 roughly still that's pretty good that's actually less than I thought it, that's more lost than I thought it would be, than I remember it being, but still pretty good. So, pretty cool. So, hopefully you'll enjoy Orange Seals as much as I have. Uh, it's a great product. Just definitely give it a shot. It does great. It, uh, don't think that, now I'll have a flat next ride, but I don't think that I've had one flat with these wheels yet. With these, uh, using Orange Seal, rather. So, give them a shot. Thanks for viewing.